Brother Eddie Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. Today, we are going to be talking about a title of, Are You Aware of the Times? And we're going to read from Romans 13, verse 11. Keeping in mind, are you aware of the times? And it starts with, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Knowing the time, that it's high time to awake. Because our salvation is nearer than what we even believe. Well, as we look at Romans 13.11, 13.11, it says that it's high time and our salvation is nearer. And there's no time to go backwards or to look back because time is quickly running out. With things to do, places to go, people to see, we are all very busy with living life every day. Everyone has so much to do, not enough time to get it all done. The world is caught up with the cares of life. Have you ever heard someone say, slow down, stop, and smell the roses? Where has the time gone? Time already? Ecclesiastes 3.1, it says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. It is so easy to waste or let time get away from us before you even realize it. One day you are six years old wanting to be 12. Then, before you know it, you're 12, but you want to be 16. Then you're 16 and you want to be 21. And so on until you say, where did all the years go? Where did all the time go? It just come and went so quick. One person worked long and hard in making a great career. One day he decided to rest from the work and live in luxury for his pleasure, which he could afford because of his wealth. Just when he made this decision, an angel of death came to him. Being a very wealthy person, he decided to buy some more time from the angel of death at any cost he bargained for a long time with the angel but the angel was unmoved desperate the rich man made the last one last proposal to the angel just give me one hour of my life so that i could admire the beauty of this earth for the last time and spend some time with my family and friends whom i haven't seen for a long time and I will give you all my wealth. But the angel refused again. Finally, the man asked the angel if he could give him at least one minute so he could write a goodbye note. His wish was granted, and he wrote a note. Spend your time which was given to you in the right way. I couldn't buy even an hour of life with all of my wealth. Listen to your heart and check if the things surrounding you have a true value. Cherish every minute of your life. As we look at the signs of the time, we see the Word of God being fulfilled every day. Who or what are we devoted to? Today, it is so easy to get overwhelmed with so many things to do and so many places to go. Getting so tired, tied up every day comes to be a very easy and many times takes us away from most important things in life like our friends, family, and church. We need to remember that we have but one life to live in this world 
and then we will face the judgment. We count time today, but there will come a day when time will be no more. And what we do for the Lord now does make a difference how we spend eternity. We need to pray that the Lord helps us to see the time that we're living in. Because it is running out. Every day time is running out for someone. Have you spent your time wisely? Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for an opportunity to know you. And for the time that you've given us. Lord, we pray and ask you to lead us and guide us. And help us to open our eyes and see the time that we're living in. So we give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we hope and trust that. You'll have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.